Hi you guys, how are you all? I hope that you are doing well. I wanted to share kind of my everyday makeup routine with you guys. Like you all know, I keep it super simple, but have been wearing a little bit more makeup recently. I like had so many events in November that I just, at the end of November, I just got so sick of wearing makeup. So I just stopped for a little while, but I'm back into wearing makeup. And so I thought I would just kind of get ready with you guys today. This is what I wear on the average day. I'm just starting to prep my skin with the Josh Rosebrook nutrient rich day cream and this is actually my second time trying this product i tried it like maybe like three or four years ago and i actually wasn't a huge fan of it then the packaging for me was really frustrating they've since repackaged we'll say i'm enjoying it a little bit more now the formula is really interesting it starts quite liquidy and then as you apply it to your skin it kind of gets stiffer if that makes sense i don't know if any of you have tried it before i'm also curious to know if you have a deeper skin tone than mine does it leave a white cast on you i feel like when i rub it in there's a bit of a white cast but the more that i rub it and the more like warmth i apply to the product it goes away so i don't know curious to hear your thoughts i often will just wear this as my base on an everyday basis i really don't wear a lot of foundation but what i will do is go in with a concealer or like a favorite foundation that can act like a concealer and that'll either be the kosas revealer concealer if i'm doing like kind of under my eyes which i'll do today and then for blemishes and stuff i actually use the westman atelier foundation this one just like really effortlessly blends into skin a lot like the cream Cure Weiss foundation. I think both of those are actually great for this kind of touch up. I find that the Kosas concealer is like maybe a bit too dewy for like blemishes. I'm actually breaking out like a fair amount right now, which is a bit frustrating. I was having really good skin last month and this month for whatever reason, we are back to lots of breakouts, probably dietary related. Lots of sugar, lots of sweets. And this just, like I said, blends so seamlessly into your skin and it's great to use just as a concealer or you can use it all over for a more full coverage look. And then I do really like using this Kosas concealer underneath my eye. Sorry if I'm going fast. I'm like actually getting ready for the day. Talking definitely adds some time, but uh, this is hopefully gonna be a relatively accurate representation of how long it takes me to get ready. I've been using the Eco Brow Pencil that you guys have seen in videos, and I just feel like it makes such a difference. I actually kind of already filled in a little bit off camera. I wasn't thinking, but kind of forgot that I needed to film today. So I just like curled my lashes and put on a little bit of eyebrow makeup. So I'm just filling in a little bit more, but nothing too crazy. And then I always brush through, keep it very natural. And then clear brow gel to set. I find like a tinted brow gel is a little bit of overkill for me. Like I already have, I wouldn't even say full brows cause I don't, I have a lot of sparse areas, but I have large brows. <laughs> so I don't need any more like volume. <laughs> like I said, I already curled my eyelashes, but just for good measure, I'm gonna curl them one more time. I love doing this. I just feel like it makes the biggest difference. And my lashes actually do a pretty good job of holding a curl. I'm not gonna be putting on any mascara. Sometimes I do, but I think because I'm not like loving the mascara that I have been using, I just like haven't been reaching for it lately, but I'm putting a little bit of the Westman Atelier contour stick as a shadow for some depth. And it's because this is really like a contour shade on me but for whatever reason on my eye I feel like it translates a little bit warmer this will definitely crease so if you are into not creasing shadows and this is not your product and I take some on my pinky and I try and go as close to my lash line as possible and then I've really been reaching for this Minori blush and orchid I just think the like cream to powder finish is so beautiful and I just love the color it's not quite as dewy of a blush as I usually go for in the winter Time, but I've just been like gravitating towards this finish for some reason and I feel like you can always add highlighter back on top if you want to change the finish you definitely can I also think since this is such like a good match to my natural flush color I can kind of like go a little bit broader with it you'll often see me just placing blush like kind of on like the higher half of my cheek but I've really been enjoying kind of just putting this one like all over for a more flushed look. And you can actually use this product on your lips too. But my favorite everyday product has been this Ilia Balmy Tint in Lullaby. It's so beautiful and so comfortable. It's the perfect weight because it's not too slippery like a, a traditional chapstick, but it's not thick like a lipstick. It's just 
really comfortable and actually like hugs your lips a little bit more than a tinted chapstick would. So I feel like you get more payoff and you don't have to worry about it kind of like sliding around, but you get all of the like moisturizing, like comfort of a tinted chapstick, if that makes sense. I am gonna add a little bit of dewiness back into my skin. So I'm gonna grab the Honest Beauty Magic Balm and just pop that onto the upper parts of my cheekbone and underneath my brow bone. I find that products sitting on top of the Josh Bros Brook Nutrient Rich Day Cream end up being a little bit matter on me, especially in the first few hours of wearing them. Okay, color balance is a little bit better. That is it. That is my finished everyday look. I have to run because I'm hopping into a meeting pretty soon, <laughs> but I'm happy I could get ready with you guys this morning. Let me know what your go-to products are right now. I'm wishing you all a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. If you haven't already, it would mean so much if you subscribe to my channel. The really great help means so much to me. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. Maybe let a friend know about my channel. That would also be absolutely amazing. Like I said, wishing you guys a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.